Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you chess study by Velimir Kalandads, Georgia's international master of chess composing, born in Tbilisi in 1935. White to move and win. On the diagram white has advanced pawn on e7 which can be promote with a more powerful piece but it's not possible do it right now because of black's queen on b7. So, white has to find way for pawn promotion. Let's try this way. Queen f4 check. By playing queen d4 check, white cannot win because black is forcing draw with king e6, king g6, queen g2 check, king h6 queen h1 check and black has perpetual check or he's going to capture pawn on d7. So, let's go back to queen f4. So, the best move for black is king e7 with the threat of taking pawn e7. In this position white has one brilliant winning move. Pause the video and try to find that move. Okay, the winning move is queen f7. Now, black has no choice but take the queen. Now promotion take place, but white promote his pawn for a knight. And continue. King e7, knight b7, king e6, white king g7, king e5, white king g6. If white decides to play knight c5 instead of king g6, then black is going to play king d5, knight a4, king c4, king g6, king b4, king f5, king capturing knight a4 and is going to be draw. Back to previous position. After king g6, black is going to capture pawn to a2 and white king following him. Black also losing if instead of king b2 plays king c4 as follow. And white is winning. Back to previous position with king b2. After king d3, white has an easy path to victory, taking into account the timely bringing of knight to field b3. In order to win, white should force black to play pawn a2. Maneuvering the knight allows it. And finally checkmate. Hope, you find this chess study interesting. Thanks for watching.